Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a list of CVEs and then publish updates that are related to those CVEs. So, let's get started. Let me start by providing some background information. The Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures List, or CVE list, is a public reference of known cybersecurity vulnerabilities. This list continually changes as new vulnerabilities are detected. If your organization uses the CVE list, it can be difficult to determine exactly which updates you need to publish to protect your machines from the threats identified in the list. Fortunately, Patch for SCCM simplifies this process. We provide a built-in feature that you can use to import a list of CVEs. Patch for SCCM will automatically determine which updates are related to each CVE, and it will display those updates for your review. You simply select which updates you want to publish, and then use the normal manual publication process. You initiate the import process by clicking the Import CVEs toolbar button. On the Import CVEs dialog, use the CVEs from File box to specify the location of your CVE file. In this case, I'll use the associated Browse button to locate the file. The file can be in any text format, such as TXT or CSV. Once you have located the file, simply select it and then click Open. The CVEs will be extracted from the specified file and the program will identify all updates that are associated with each valid CVE. CVEs that are not associated with any updates will be displayed in the pane on the right. The number of unique updates related to the list of imported CVEs is shown in the lower left corner of the dialog. In our example, we have 11 unique updates that are related to 56 valid CVE IDs. You may choose to publish all of the updates, but it is more likely that you will want to first filter the list. For example, you might not want to publish any update that has been superseded. You can click in the Is Superseded column header and use the column filter to show only those updates that have not been superseded. For example, In our example, this has narrowed the list of unique updates from 11 to 6. After you have identified which updates you want to publish, click the Select Visible Updates in Main Window button. The Import CVEs dialog will close, and the selected updates will be shown in the Ivanti Patch grid. For example, you now use the normal manual publication process to publish the updates. And that concludes this video. For more information about Ivanti Patch for SCCM or any of our other products, please see the other videos available on this channel or visit our product documentation page. Thanks for watching.